this is Tanya coming to you from my minivan. Don't worry, I'm not driving. It's parked as a mom with three kids and a busy life. This is the only place that's quiet, so what's up? I wanted to talk about how much I love American Gods because my friend Hansi asked uh, for some fangirling about American Gods, and I'm probably going to swear, and there's going to be spoilers, but you know what? That's too bad because this show is amazing, and if you're not watching it, you should be. Um, so, to back up a little bit, I've read the book, I love the book, just also finished Good Omens, which I highly recommend, I'm so excited for that ad adaptation too, but there's, in a nutshell, there's like three things for me that I love the most about American Gods. So the first one is that, I'm, I'm not a film person, so you're gonna have to like take this with a grain of salt film people, because this is the layperson version of this. Um, I love the direction, the art direction. So for me, every single shot in American Gods looks like a painting. It looks like a work of art. Every shot is beautiful. You could pause that video, any of the episodes in on any scene and it would be gorgeous. It's just breathtaking, the, the visual um, beauty of that show. And I think that it's wonderful that because the story itself meanders a lot and takes some twists and turns and the main plot is you know really interesting but the point of the book is to sort of explore these vignettes on what it means to be human what it means to be um, more than human and what the importance of memory and belief and faith and to me the whole story is a question about faith what does that mean um, what is the context of modernity and, and human experience of modernity and throughout time? Why do we have these gods? What, how are they like us, um, but, but more than we are? Um, yeah, so but <laughs> without getting too deep, I love that about the show. And I think that the visual aspect of the way the, the film is shot, excuse me, I love that about the book. I think the way that the film is shot uh, really captures that that beauty in the details from the book and I love that okay second thing I love is I'm from Wisconsin which is why I sound like this and when I read the parts of the book set in small town Wisconsin I was like nailed it you nailed it so I love those parts in small town Wisconsin we didn't see that in the in the um, series yet so I'm like really keeping my fingers crossed that we're gonna see that small town um, happen in season two and I'm so excited because I love that part um, casting is spot-on so that's the third part of the show that I love a lot and I want to specially shout out to Mr. Orlando Jones, who plays Mr. Nancy, and just, I mean, bloody brilliant, brilliant performance. Um, I don't cry a lot at TV shows because I'm medicated for my anxiety disorder, <laughs> which um, the kind of is, is good and bad for those of you like me who have experienced some of the uh, pharmaceutical wonders of the modern age. So maybe that's one of my gods is Prozac. Um, anyway, so thank God for it. Um, but it turns down the emotions. However, when Orlando Jones comes on as Mr. Nancy, I have cried like several times. I'm not talking like, oh, it was kind of emotional. Oh, it's a little bit sad. I'm talking like, <laughs> like ugly freaking makeup running crying. So I guess thank you and much love. Watch it. It's awesome.